Welcome back, comrades. <laughs> and uh, glad to have you guys back. But um, we're back again because this is the second time that I'm filming you guys right now. I'm having a little talk with you guys. And we've already done this once. And for some reason, it is not recognizing it on my editing device, my SD card. And that's what we're here to talk about, too. So, round two. I'll tell you what, this takes a lot of patience. So yes, this is an unexpected part of the video that you're going to be watching here after I get done talking to you guys. It's unexpected because I've lost my footage. Um, it recorded when I recorded, but when I went to put it on or put my SD card on the editing device, nothing, absolutely nothing showed up. <laughs> and I about wanted to cry. I really did. I'm like, you gotta be kidding me, because this film that I this movie that you're about to watch is this film is it's more of like a, a training film, kind of like the Periscope uh, military films, you know, the old training military films. So, yeah, it was more of like a movie than anything. So I had a, I did a lot of filming in this, a lot of different angles and stuff. And the only th and I, and I'm and I'm grateful because some of my footage did work because I use multiple SD cards because of this whole of this reason right here. And I'm glad I did, not just one SD card. So I have multiple SD cards to work from, but two of the SD cards out of the four that I use or five that I use failed. So I, I don't know what's going on, but I did an update on my camera to see if that helped. And I did that earlier today and yet I've come down here and filmed and still I cannot get the video that I just made for you guys to upload. So I, I don't know what's going on, but it's a little frustrating. But anyways, so... It's going to be a partial film, and I'm sorry. I don't have any control over this, but hopefully it's good. Um, we got the beginning of the film, we got the end of the film, and we got the day that I leave in the film. So some of the footage I was able to upload, some of it I wasn't, and some of the stuff I was not not able to uh, put on the computer, I had to film with my old GoPro on this GoPro so you could see it, and it's really crappy, but... <laughs> I just wanted to at least show you guys what I had. So, yeah, we missed quite a bit. And what? And I want to tell you what you guys missed. And it's all the cool stuff. You missed the part where I cut down a pine tree with a uh, commando uh, saw, a wire saw. Yes, I cut down a tree with a wire saw. It's a little bit of assistance of the Ontario SP-8, but it, it happened. And I had it filmed. And I'm just like, you got to be kidding me. That was the coolest part. Uh, pretty much me making the fire. We had a fire and I, in my community page, I'll put some pictures up. I've got pictures I took. So I, I'll throw up, throw up a few more pictures than what, I, than what I already have. And basically just basically the time I got to the, the campsite to the time that I went to bed is what the footage I don't have. So yeah, it's, it just nothing good about it, but Hey, you want some, you lose some, but over here. I got some stuff drying out. This is the Israel Tex. This is the Israel Tex sleep system here. It's kind of drying out on my couch down here, but I will say don't put the don't put that tape on there that that we did in the last video that I did because now everything's sticky right there. And that's not good, especially when you wrap it up. Ah, uh, this is the the backpack that I use. It's the Alice Pack Hybrid, and this is where I kept my pillow, some bungee cords. It was pretty nice. And these right here are what I slept in. These things here are a lifesaver. They're outdoor design. They're down booties. But those are a lifesaver. And here is the foam pad that I used for my bottom of my sleeping bag. And here is the top pad that I use right here. And right over here we got the EcoTat drying out. So nice. No seams or peeling or nothing on this thing. So it's pretty nice. I was worried because this thing's old too. So... Oh, and the SP, SP-8, Ontario Machete. So yeah, that's it guys. Um, of course, in this, in this, in this video, we use the uh, Isrotec CCW sleep system inside of the EcoTat. So I had an extra layer around me to keep me out of the winds. And it was actually pretty windy last night too. Um, 
and I put two sleeping pads underneath me this time. And if you saw in the picture on the community page, you saw where it actually did really well. It did not draw that moisture, or I mean, draw the moisture from me, um, or from the ground, or from me to the ground, however you want to say it. I don't know. I think it draws it from you, and then it makes it real uh, damp underneath. But it actually did really well. It performed really well with two mats. And guess what? I was not cold all night. <laughs> now, I will say one thing. For about an hour or two, my feet were kind of cold. And the reason why is because I didn't change my socks because I just didn't want to because it was cold. I just wanted to get in the bag, but I had the down booties on. About an hour or two after having those down booties, my feet were on fire. So I actually had to take those down booties off in the middle of the night. And I slept with no down booties on this time in the sleeping bag. And I was warm all night. I was in that bag from 6 to probably time we get 7.30 this morning. So I was in there for a long time, warm all night. Now, I was inside the Ecotath this time. And... It only got down to a low 24. It was not uh, 19 degrees like it was when we did the first test with the sleeping bag. So we'll continue to do tests with it. And um, yeah, I'm done talking, guys. I hope this will upload now. I had to get that out there for you guys. So I hope you enjoy the show. God bless you. And we'll see you in the next adventure, okay? I really hope you guys enjoy it. So it's just partial. All right. Take care, guys. Bye. get my signal mirror out. Oh. oh man, please see me. Please see me. Oh, I just gotta get the reflection in there just right. I gotta look through this little eye hole here. and Oh man, please see me. Please see me. Hey, I'm right here. I'm right here. Ah, oh. dang. Ah, boy. Dang it, Johnny. You did it again. <sighs> Dang. Ah, <sighs> well. Off we go. Well, the time is 0800. Zulu time. And I was out on a, well, we're out on it right now, a recon training mission. However, Johnny decided to, uh, and Johnny's our pilot, he decided to go ahead and drop me off a mile before our landing zone, thinking that the wind would bring me right into the landing zone. Well, little did Johnny know that he was wrong. Because now we're behind enemy lines. <sighs> Only if Gunny Sergeant was here, he would be, man, he would be chewing him a new one. Oh boy. I gotta find some general direction here. the sun. The sun always rises in the east and sets in the west, but we're in the northern hemisphere, so I want to get my compass out and I want to get some, I want to get some bearings here. I gotta get an idea where we're gonna head out. Hmm. Well, yeah, I think I think we're gonna go this way. I saw a clearing in that direction, so yeah. We came in from the from the north, so 
I know if I head back north because we were we're head south, but we were coming from the north. So if I head back north, I did see a clearing right before we get ready to jump. Oh man. Johnny's gonna hear it from me if I make it out of this alive. I didn't know where the rest of my team went. I can only hope that they're gonna get picked up too, but in the meantime, we're probably gonna be doing an overnighter out here. Don't have much of a choice. <sighs> it's a low of 20 degrees tonight. I'm glad I packed right. Always gotta be prepared. right down the tree line there and you can't see it from here but uh, I think that's where we're gonna set up camp but right now I need to get my pack off I need to go through some of the stuff I have because we have some new experimental gear that we're gonna try out Right now I have this new winter backpack uh, cover and uh, I'm testing this out as well on this training mission but we're not just testing it out we're actually using it because this is a real survival situation. I'm going to get this thing off. Hopefully it'll keep me protected from infrared. Ooh, there's my arctic canteen. I need to get a drink real quick. I'm thirsty. This is another experiment we're trying here. These are called Arctic Canteens. They're supposed to work below zero, so it won't be that cold tonight, but it's gonna be cold. Mm. Oh, man. I still can't believe Johnny did this. Mm, mm, mm. He's a show off. All right, so here we have, I guess this is called the EcoTap Freedom Shelter. We have some Marine Sergeant or a, a Colonel, a Marine Colonel or someone over in the Marines that I came up with this design, so I'm gonna test this thing out too. Got my sleeping pads there. Got two sleeping pads this time, it should keep me warm from the ground. We got my Ontario SP8. This is a great knife for chopping through wood. I need to get camp set up, because uh, the sun is going down here pretty soon. Now, I am Army, and this shelter system I'm using is being used by the Marines, so we'll see how it works. I'll see if it's Army proven. Whew, it's getting cold. Temp is definitely dropping. My hood put on here. Right now I'm wearing my Generation 1 uh, Woodland Camo Gore-Tex Extreme Cold Weather Parka. Wow, oh, 
this thing sets up pretty easy. It just takes two poles and four stakes and you're set up. Look at this ground. This ground's frozen. This had a pretty good freeze here for the last week or so. Well, here it is. EcoTap Freedom Shelter. This will definitely protect me from infrared. Oh yeah. Oh, I also have my USGI Thermarest sleeping pad. These are new too. These are like an air mattress or something with foam inside of it. So it's gonna be a great experiment. This thing can also be used as a poncho, and I almost forgot that there's a hood right here. I'm gonna go ahead and cinch that up. That'll keep out the cold air for the most part. I did really well. The sleep bag actually kept me really warm. Oh man, I really need to get picked up here. I definitely need a good rescue right now. Oh, let's see how the water did overnight. I left this out all night. not much room in this shelter. I did really good though overnight. I also have with me the Isratex Extreme Cold Weather Sleep System that we just got issued. And it was 24 degrees last night Fahrenheit and it actually kept me really warm. I think having two sleeping pads really helped a lot. <clears throat> Johnny is going to hear it from me when I get back to base, if I get back. <sighs> what was that? Hey! Oh, I better get out of here. I gotta get out of here. Oh boy, come on. Oh, that's cold, that's cold. Signal mirror. Ooh, it's cold. Burr. Oh, I hear him up there. He'll do another flyby, hopefully. I'll get my signal mirror out there. Oh, gosh, I don't make it in time. Come on, come on. I'm back. Okay, I see him. Okay, I'll get out here more in the open. All right. Steady, steady. Oh, hey. Hey. They see me? Yes, they saw me. <laughs> They're coming back. <laughs> yes. Oh. Praise the Lord. Yes, thank you. Oh, right here, see me? <laughs> yes. Okay, I gotta get out of here. Oh man. 
Guys, it is time to go. Oh, I can't wait to get back. Johnny is going to hear it this time. Guys, thank you and God bless. We'll see you in the next adventure. Take care. Well, here's some extra footage, guys. Um, <laughs> this is some, yeah, that's some pretty horrible footage right here. But I figure at least show you a little bit. I did camp out all night. Just my SD card failed on me miserably. So here it is. Enjoy.